Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the Decarb 2 LPG by Sia Modular. The Takab 2 LPG is probably one of the most popular modules by CM Modular, if not the most popular one. It is well regarded as being one of the optimum uh, low pass gates that you can get out in the fields. And in this video, I want to show you why that is the exact case. So I do have to thank CM Modular again for making this module available to me. And for now, I would say, well, hope everyone's sitting down because uh, here we go. So here we have the Takab 2 LPG by CM Modular. And it is a 2 HP module. It is passive, so it doesn't need any additional power. Um, so it won't eat up any of your uh, much wanted million pairs. And it's got two channels. These are, of course, factual controls and these are exactly the same. So we have the well, the selector for the so-called tone, um, so which will be in the middle, it's gonna be almost no coloring or no filtering. In the upper, in the, uh, in the up position, it's gonna be, well, a bit of filtering and in the down position, it's gonna be a bit more, but I'm gonna show you and let you listen to what that means and you've got your input, your CV in, and you've got your output. So what we're gonna be working with is this cable, and this is coming from Orna, and this is gonna be a square wave. There you go. I'm gonna put that into the two LPG, and we're gonna grab uh, channel number two from Maths, which allows me to manually add voltages to this and we're gonna grab this out of this one and let's just grab this one and put that into the output. So right now, channel number two is all the way open and if I turn it down, you hear that slight delay that we're gonna be focusing on a bit more later on. That's of course what adds that plucky sound to low pass gates. And we're gonna be focusing a bit more on that later on. But for now, I'm just gonna be interested in the actual color or the actual filtering of this module. So again, this is the sound that we're working with. And if we then compare that to what we have, if we have it in the middle position, it's almost exactly the same. There is a slight bit of coloring happening there. If we turn it in the up position, a bit more filtering. So it behaves a bit more like a low pass filter. And all the way down, even more. But all of these three modes have the slight delay that we're going to be working with. So if we then change the visualization from this tone analysis or the signal analysis that we've been doing right now, and if we change that to VCV rack, and if we open that a bit more, And if we grab these two cables, so this is the actual signal coming from mats. That's the one that we have. So it goes all the way down and it goes all the way up. And we grab the other one, which is the actual sound that we get from the uh, two LPG. There you have it. And you see that the moment I turn this down, there is a delay. And that delay is, of course, the thing that we are mostly interested in. That's the reason why we'll use LPGs instead of um, uh, LPFs, low pass filters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the patch around just slightly. 
and we're going to see what we can do in an actual patch so I'm just going to turn the camera around so that we can get the whole system in there we go here we go so I'm going to use Hermit I'm going to be using Onan that you've already heard I'm going to be using Maths and I'm going to be using the Graphic VCO and some filtering from the uh, Black Jewel VCF there so but first let's uh, remove the cables that we've already had just yank these out there we go so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to grab channel 1 from Hermit patch that into Orna from there we are going to patch it into the input of the 2LPG second one sorry wrong cable the gate output is going to be going straight into there and the output is going into my mixer so if I now patch this around here we go the middle up down and you hear that plucky sound happening right and that is of course the, the beauty of LPGs and that's exactly what we want so let's um, grab something else here so let's grab channel number one from Pam's new workout, throw that into this graphic VCO, put that in drum mode, let's change that around a bit, so now we should have something that resembles a bit of a kick. We're just gonna build something here so one of the things I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be patching this output into Lich and grab the output and add a bit of reverb that was one of the key feed points of feedback that I've received the last couple of weeks and again thanks so much for that feedback um, that's the thing I learned most from from feedback so if there's anything that you feel oh well, yes but this would greatly improve your patches your videos let me know that's the whole reason why I do this right so then let's use the second channel of Hermit and use the harmonic shift oscillator yeah we've got two channels on the two LPG so why not use both of them right something else already something that we can work with right this is a great starting point for a song if you ask me so 
So you've seen what we've been doing. We're using Hermit to uh, orchestrate everything. We are using Pam's new workout as our master clock. I'm using the Lich for some slight reverb. I'm using both channels on the 2LPG to add that nice plucky melodical sound to channel 1 and 2 from the Hermit. Uh, channel 1 is going to the Orna, channel number 2 is going to the HSO and I'm mixing everything and then again going ev everything's going through the Lich for some much needed reverb and that's it. This is just a great small melodic patch that I'm using and um, this is what I love to do and this is why I love uh, low pass gates and this is why I truly love the Takab 2 LPG by CM Modular. So let's go back to the studio and wrap this up shall we? Thanks so much. Cheers. So I truly hope everyone enjoyed this video on the Takab 2 LPG by CM Modular. Um, whom I of course have to thank again for making this available to me. So Pete, the rest of the CM Modular crew, thanks again for making this available. I've truly enjoyed this and it's now become one of the staples within my Eurorack case. Much appreciated. Um, other than that, I do have to thank everyone for subscribing. We're almost at the 700 subscriber mark. I did, well, promise to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of Q3. So we have until October to reach that mark, but I'm pretty confident. So for those of you who haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you've got any questions. And if you do have any questions and you don't want to, uh, well, use the comment section for that, feel free to drop me a line at jesper at themodularclubhouse.nl and that is of course jesper at themodularclubhouse.nl and I'm really looking forward to all of your feedback. If you've got any questions about the Takab 2 LPG, let me know if you've got any feedback remarks suggestions for this channel let me know as well and I, for now i would say everyone please stay safe stay healthy and hope to see you for my next video cheers